Hey guys, coming to another video for you guys. In today's video, I want to show you how to fix your iPhone AirPrint not working after iOS 17 update, or if you have the new iPhone 15 lineup and AirPrint isn't working for a printer that used to work for you. So how can you fi fix this problem? We're gonna walk you through all the troubleshooting steps that you need in order to fix this problem. So the very first thing whenever you're having this issue is putting your phone in airplane mode briefly and then turning it back off. And that does a quick network refresh. So if there's a connectivity issue, with your printer to your iPhone, it will fix that for you. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues, the next thing you wanna do is a forced restart on your iPhone. So in order to do a forced restart on your iPhone, you're gonna press and release the volume up, followed by press and release the volume down. Finally, you're gonna hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. And once it went black and you see the Apple logo appear, at that time, you'll let go of that button. So we're gonna do volume up, volume down, and finally hold the side button. And you're not going to slide to power off because that'll be a normal turning on and off. We're gonna force it to shut down by holding that side button just like I am. And then until you see the Apple logo, you're gonna wait till that comes up and then you'll let go. It does take a minute or two after it goes completely black for the Apple logo to appear. But once it does, it's gonna shut down the software completely and reload the code. So if it's a software related issue on the iPhone, it will fix that for you now. This method will not delete any of your personal data, so all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe. Now, after you have done that, it's still not working. Uh, the next thing also, when you force restart it, is by disconnecting your printer from the power source. Give it about a minute, and then turn it back on, and then power it back on. And the reason why we do that, it's a power cycle, the printer as well. So whatever printer you have, just completely pull the plug, give it a minute, and then I'll retry after that. Now, let's say it's still not working. The next thing you wanna do is go ahead into your iPhone. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and forget the Wi-Fi that you're connected to and then reconnect to your Wi-Fi. And you're gonna do that and then reconnect to the same Wi-Fi. Now, once you reconnect to that Wi-Fi, you also wanna verify that the printer is using the same Wi-Fi you are using because for AirPrint to work, if they're not on the same network, it will not work correctly. So I'm gonna enter my Wi-Fi password here really quick. And then once you enter your Wi-Fi password, you're simply gonna join and verify. Same Wi-Fi is connected to your printer as well. And hopefully after that, you're able to do air printing. Now, if it's still not working for you, the next thing you wanna do, it's probably the most important part, which helps most people with the recent update with iOS 17 is that you need to update the firmware of your printer. So whether you have a Canon, Epson, HP, Brother, Samsung, whatever the printer it is, each printer has a different method of updating the firmware on the device or the printer itself. So in order to figure out how to update the firmware, some apps, for example, some of the printer mo manufacturer, you can actually go through the app if you have it and do the update there by following the update process. Others, you'll need to do it on the actual printer by clicking on the button if it has a touch screen. And the best way to figure that out is simply, right, Google the printer brand that you have and the model number and search of update firmware. So if you have a Canon one, let's say, for example, Canon printer, you wanna put the model number, of course, and then put printer and then put in update firmware. And there's a guide that will tell you how to update the firmware and most of the ones you'll be able to Google it. Now, for some reason, if you aren't able to Google it and are not able to figure out how to update a firmware, there's also other YouTube videos you can check out as well that shows you how to go through to update a printer. For example, this Canon one, right? If you have this one, you can follow this process to update uh, the firmware. And this is gonna be, again, different for everyone depending on the brand of printer that you have. So you'll need to Google it. And if you can't find either on the Google article or on YouTube, simply reach out to the brand customer service and they can help you as well. But updating the firmware is important because when you have iOS 17, the printer also needs to update it so it's compatible with the right software. If you were using iOS 16, right, it was working correctly now because of iOS 17 is a major update. It needs to know how to work together in order for you to be able to do air printing. So once you figure out how to update the firmware, you should be able to print. Now, let's say you updated the firmware, you're still having issues. The next thing to do is in your iPhone, you're gonna go into your settings, go to general, go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. And then you're gonna click on the first option to reset. 
and you're going to want to do a network reset. What a network reset does is basically resets all of your connections. Things like saved Wi-Fi password uh, will be reset. Any Bluetooth connected devices and any other devices in the past you connected to, you'll just have to reconnect again. But it will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps, and everything still be on your phone. It's just the settings themselves for network connectivity will be reset. And it's something you'll need to do even after a firmware update if it doesn't work for you. And finally, after you have done all of this, it's time to see if Apple also released the update in order to fix compatibility issues with your printer. In order to check that for our iPhone, you go into your settings, general, software update. And if there's an update available, it will check for it. It will show up here. You're going to click on update now and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes and make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged when you do this and connect it to strong uh, Wi-Fi or cellular data. And once you successfully install the new update, go ahead and try it. And you might have to go through the same step in the beginning where we said doing a force restart again, unplugging the printer, and then even doing another network re a reset if you need to in order to troubleshoot. But I hope after doing all the troubleshooting, your printer is working again. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Also comment the type of printer you have in the model and if you were able to uh, successfully fix it and how did you fix it, leave a comment in the comment section to share with everyone. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.